And we're gonna go to the hair next. Get your quick selection tool using W as a shortcut. And for these little curls, some of it you'll be able to catch, others of it you'll have to add to the selection later. And there what it did is it selected the whole face, so that's something I'm gonna have to add later. So I've selected everything I can select, so I will do the same thing as I did before so that the line isn't on there for the hairline and the same amount of pixels as well. Select a color. I think he's a blondie boy. Maybe a dirty blonde. This time, let's try the other ones and see if they look any better. Or if we're going to stick with soft light. I think I kind of like overlay. It's a little bright, but I think I like it, so I'll stick with overlay. All right, so now to add portions of the hair, go to your mask, and if I have white and I paint, changing to my brush tool with B, then I can add to the selection, but I will say that it does look a little bit weird because it's very vibrant. And if I back up, that does look a little bit weird. So what you can do is you can change this to a light gray and it won't be quite as vibrant. Show you. Another thing to note is that I have a soft brush on right now and that helps the edges not to be near as crisp and noticeable and distracting. And you don't have to be super precise on these flyaways, but it is helpful to get most of them. This gives a hint of color out there and then on this side And the hair is finished.